last night. It was the usual fist fight. My older sister punching my mother as hard as she was getting punched. And I don't know how it all got started. I was sitting on my bed, which is where I usually sit when I watch people beating the <laughs> fuck out of one another, as if each punch was the road to being loved or being heard or being whatever. When suddenly, my mother got wild, wild. I don't know if she could punch my sister even deeper into the corner of the bed, but she did. And I watched her grab my sister's head and begin bashing it, bashing it uncontrollably against the wall, uncontrollably over and over and over and over and like she had exploded into a billion miles an hour into a monster with no brain, ravenous and tearing apart and and my father, who never intervened, because fist fights made him crippled again. Again, his wife filling up with the ghost of his father. The kids had called the ox. There was no winning when the ox pummeled him into the wall. My father went and married the ghost of the ox. And even if she was beautiful, and even if he did love her, and even if maybe she loved him, he could never stop her, even when he was hitting her or hitting her back, until one day he just decided to stop hitting everyone and my father who never intervened. Ran into our small bedroom where I was sitting on my bed, which is what I do when people are beating the fuck out of one another, and I watched him for the first time pull the ghost of his father off his daughter, who sobbed, who sobbed uncontrollably. Because even though her father loved her, she only loved the woman who was beating the fuck out of her. I don't remember for sure, but I think I did something for the first time. I took my wool poncho and I closed the front door behind me. Maybe I was 12, perhaps I was 13. I was definitely in the middle of winter and I walked to Essex and Grand and got on the Avenue Way bus where the driver let me smoke his cigarettes as we traveled uptown in the middle of the night talking about family. He let me off at St. Mark's, and I walked, maybe for the first time, but definitely not for the last, into brutal cold, looking for home and a break for monsters. Twenty years later, watching Jurassic Park in a movie theater, I would panic terror that had nothing to do with dinosaurs. And twenty years after Jurassic Park, I would ask my sister about that night. And she would say she didn't remember. Thank you. Wow.